Take a look at the storms that are rolling through right now. This is going to cause already is causing a lot of problems. So it's very localized. We're looking at a three hour loop right now. We had one round of showers and storms that since moved offshore. So let's focus in on this guy. You've got a lot of frequent lightning with this. If you can wait it out, I would suggest that, but you are going to need to wait probably at least another half hour. And I know that's not easy for many of you to do, but Misha will have more on it. But there is a lot of flooding that's taken place because of the kind of drenching rain that we've had. Looking at these little isolated spots and pockets where you have the red showing up, that's radar 101. The brighter that shade up to red, the more intense and heavy that rainfall. And that is registering at just shy of three and a half inches rainfall rate per hour. So even though this may not be over that same zone between Richboro and Trenton for an entire hour, it's the damage is done. That's going to lead to flooding. And there is a flood advisory that's actually now been extended. It was only including these north and western counties up to Bucks and even now Northampton. But now it has since extended since the storms have moved east into Mercer County and elsewhere. So it does include the Trenton area. If you're traveling parts of I-95, you will be impacted. But talk about localized. Look at Ocean City right now. Gorgeous. Gorgeous start to the morning. It's a little muggy, granted, but you don't have the storms. And all in all, I'd call it an okay beach day. There will still be a shower thunderstorm that pops up uh, in scattered fashion into the afternoon. But once that first round of really drenching rain gets out of here, we'll see some sun return, and then the, the heat yeah. is just off to the races from that point forward, Misha. Yeah.